All right, hello everybody. I hope that this recording works because I've been using OBS for the past, I don't know, all the past full gameplays because it was having issues with my mic. I mean, it, it wasn't having issues with my mic, but this time I'm gonna try a new shadow play. And the nice thing about shadow play is I can record it on two different audio tracks so that if the game or my mic has some sort of issue, I can just cut it without cutting the other one out. Hope that makes sense. So it's better to use Shadowplay, but the problem is Shadowplay always messes up my mic. So I'm hoping it works this time. But the reason I decided to try to use Shadowplay once again is because whenever I use OBS, you guys probably notice on YouTube, the quality is very blurry, even though I have it on the highest setting possible, which takes up so much memory. So I'm just going to try to use Shadowplay instead, and you guys will see an increase in quality, I hope. Anyways, we're playing a Wilkes because we just made the Wilkes montage and people want to see a full gameplay. So the start I do is blink, tax blessing, into transcendence. I don't always go transcendence. If I feel like I can win the early game, I go transcendence. But um, a Wilkes is a very, very fun in duel, and I think she's very good. She has she has a little bit of a hard time against warriors, I would say. But other than that, she does pretty good. So I wanted to show a certain start, which is where you blink behind her and push her into the air and you know, do half of your opponent's health. But since she was sitting in tower, I couldn't do that. I think we get first blood here. Nope. Oh, baby! <laughs> oh, she missed it. I think, okay, so, let's actually just back. I, just, I don't think I could take the buff. Maybe I can, but, because I have potions, but let's play safe. So, if she hit that auto attack, she would have gotten first blood, but the minions were right there. I think she still would have died, which would have been perfectly fine. That was pretty lucky, though. I usually don't ban Freya because I'm playing, like, Ymir, and Ymir actually destroys Freya. I want to show that matchup in a full gameplay, eventually. But, uh, every time I've fought Freya as Ymir, which is around eight times now... I've just thought it was a fluke the first couple of times, but I've just I've beaten her just because early game she has no way to get away from me, man. Except for ultimate. Maybe she hit level 5 before her. I don't know if I should try and kill her or if I should... She doesn't have beads. We'll blink. Do an auto attack before that. There we go. So you blink to the side or behind them. Use the the Suku right away. Or I guess in this skin is Charles, isn't it? And uh, that'll knock him up in the air. Early game, you have enough time to do one auto attack before you ult them. Late game, you can do two auto attacks before they hit the ground. So that's a little thing that you can do with the Willix. Yeah, Willix is my favorite non-guardian god. And I really, really like playing her on stream. But I actually don't show her uh, much on YouTube. So I thought this was a good chance to do that. Come on, give me enough mana for my two. Okay. Barely enough mana for my two there. And now we finish Transcendence. Gives us a huge power spike. Yeah, I wouldn't go Transcendence against uh, Warriors. Sometimes I do, but it's safer to go Boots and then Defense. But against a squishy like Freya, the Transcendence, you snowball very hard. That actually didn't do that much damage. Yeah, but I really hope this recording works. It should. And I just got back from Thanksgiving break. Today, I'll, I'll try and upload it today as well. But what's today? It's the 26th? Yeah, I just got back from my Thanksgiving break, and it was really, really nice. I had a great one. I hope you all had a great one as well. Hmm... Yeah, I meant to edit some videos before my break, but uh, I didn't get around to it, so now I'm going to try and catch up. I'm going to try to be uploading a lot more. I just got to... It's all time management, really. I have the time for it. I just need to time manage better in terms of streaming, editing, and recording. Because most of my best games are when I'm not, re when I'm not talking, when I'm not commentating, so... Like, footage for montages, I usually got to play that when I'm not streaming or anything. And that I used to have a lot of time for, but now I don't. Hey, JFL joined the club. Nice. JFL's cool. Oh, 
Yeah, if anyone didn't know, Andrew and I, Andrew, if you don't know, is my brother, Define Pride. We made this, we renamed the clan to be Gamer Nation. I cannot believe he was able to get the name of it and the, and the tag gamer, but there you go. I think it's open joining. It's either open joining or you apply. Okay, so one thing we can do here is if she pushes up, we can use our three. And if we're feeling fancy, we can blink before. But I don't know if she's going to blink. I mean, she's going to push up. Doesn't look like it. Usually, I won't do the blink. But if I, can, if I know I can get them in tower, I can do it. I've only done it twice before. But you, you have to be pretty lucky. Another one I like doing is a pool behind here. That one you, they usually don't expect. It all depends on where they're standing. Like right now, if I were to go over there, she would definitely expect me because there's no buff up. Like, why would I be sitting there, you know? I hear Copper running around. <laughs> He's a strange cat. So she doesn't have beads. Oh, she went Polly first. Maybe she was going to Book of Filth and then she decided her early game is not good right now. I don't know. I'm unsure. I messed up. That's okay. I messed up as she ulted. She really shouldn't have ulted. That's a waste. Oh, and usually when you're using Suku, you don't uh, want to actually leap. Unless you're going over a wall or something. Just because uh, it's kind of a waste. I mean, it's not a waste. Because you still have to spend the mana. When you, when you use your one, you spend the mana. I uh, uh, might go for a Pestilence here. Yeah. When you use your one, you use the mana. And when you leap, that's when uh, that's when the abilities goes on cooldown. But however, if you cancel it, the ability doesn't go on cooldown. Therefore, you can still use it if you're in a bad situation. So just use it for the movement speed, honestly. Yeah, I really got to time manage because people want me to be streaming all the time. People want videos all the time. And friends want me to play with them all the time, too. Which is, you know, which is nice. I like that. But... I'm just really bad at time management, so then I either I usually end up just not doing recording or not doing editing. All right, got a bag. The only thing about Wilkes is she's really squishy, so. But luckily, she she can back without too much punishment, just because she can. Uh, you know, she has movement speed from Suku, which is great. Oh, she saw me. So here, I'm going to go wait behind her blue buff. And we might be able to get a nice pull here. If she doesn't see me. So we can time her walking past. There she is. So we're going to just envision her. There we go. That's how you do it. So you can see them for a little tiny bit. Right? So I used... I, I used to think that that was the, the the craziest thing to be able to do, but it's actually not too difficult once you do it a lot because you just envision them walking. Nobody's going to slow down in spite when they're walking. Why didn't I take the tower? Um, no one's going to slow down when you're walking forward, you know? So they're going to go the same, the same speed, and they're going to be facing away from you. The only way they can really react to that is if they know... If they know that you're waiting and they hear the three which is already an incredibly quiet ability and they look towards you that's the only way they can stop they can stop it if you that's assuming that you do hit them though but when you see them walking past you just kind of envision them walking at the same movement speed and then you throw it out to hit them i, I put that in the montage but i also wanted to show that in full gameplay so there you go that's really good Hmm. I'm also planning on doing a... Uh, oh, whoops, I have Discord open. I'm also planning on doing a giveaway for this... Uh, for this uh, video. I'll put it in the comment sections as usual. Just go D&D &D real quick. I don't go D&D &D very often. Hmm. Probably kill her here. Oh, that sucks. Bad timing. I shouldn't be doing this, but I am. I oh, 
I could have killed her, but. Wait, was that a taunt? <laughs> no, that was probably just a low health voice. Like, that's funny. I think the Pestilence was the right choice. Um, Her build, I'll be honest, her build's not that great. Because right now she has 150 power. So Polynomicon's hitting me for barely anything. Compared to if she just had the raw power for her abilities. Your middle tower is under attack. Another thing you can do when you're first starting out doing the pulls over the towers, you can put ward here and there. And that's actually how I started doing it. That way you have vision. You don't put it in the tower because then they can destroy the ward. But you just put it right in front of their tower. And then you have vision so you can practice where you need to throw out Suku if you know where they are, you know? Here's another thing I want to show. Oh, I can't do it now. I'll talk about it later. One thing you can do is if you're if somebody's fighting you and they're looking straight at you and you're basic attacking them, just stop basic attacking them and walk straight up to them and then turn around and throw Suku out. They they usually don't expect you to just stop attacking and you end up getting the knock up most of the time. And if you don't get the knock up, then you get the damage at least. That's that's a really good tr trick as well. I'll try and show it this game, but against Freya, I'm not sure if I can get it. It usually works against uh, like hunters or warriors. Assassins is great against, but but with assassins when they're chasing you, you just uh, when they're chasing you like right behind you, you just do a quick back step and throw out Suku, and they're just gonna go for it. It's really hard for them to react to if they're right behind you, like extremely difficult. Okay, we're gonna blink on her here. Oh, unless she does that. Oh, she's too far now. Also, your level up your two. I know that a lot of new players they think that Suku is the clear. Your two is the clear for, for Wilkes, and it's your damage. You can probably kill her here if I don't best up. So we can't... I don't think we can get two auto attacks off yet. We don't... I don't think we have the attack speed. But late game, when you have the attack speed, you can get two auto attacks, then the ult. But yeah, let me know if you guys want to see more Wilkes, because I feel like a Wilkes is my... Like, she. she's definitely my favorite non-guarding guard. But she might be my best god in terms of what I can teach. <laughs> Just because there's not that many Willux players, especially not in duel. And the tricks I don't see very, very often at all. I was number two Willux for a while. I don't know if I still am. I was number one for a very short while, but then I lost some dumb games. Let's see, maybe we can get the knock up here. Yep, see where I did that? Gotta run away though. But we'll go back in. Oh, she activated thorns. Dang it, that ult was almost up too. She activated thorns. Once she activated thorns, I was just like, well, I'm dead. So I I, I kind of gave up. I guess I could have tried to juke to get Suku up. I could have done that. But I, I just kind of gave up. Uh, Let's see. What can I buy against Freya? Double defense isn't a bad idea, like a Genji's. Genji's might be good. Or Runic. Runic could be great. Even for the late game, just because she's going poly as well. It hurts her damage as well as the poly's damage. It hurts the poly's damage even more. I think that'll be good. Oh, she got FG. So, the thing about her getting Bull Demon... Uh, not FG, Bull Demon. Is that, uh... I, I now I can't take it. So even though she might not get my tower, I can't take it now. So she slows me down by doing that, which is very smart. Very smart to do. Oh, I didn't forget the auto attack. That's really bad. I got the kill, but um, I could have got way more damage off if I got the auto attack first, especially since I have Executioner. Oh, build-wise, I haven't been talking about the build. So, because of a Wilkes passive, having high power is very good because uh, when she initiates fights, she gets 30% extra physical power. So, if you have a lot of power, it's even more with that. So, that's why I like Transcendence. And nice thing about it is, too, is you can go double defense and still have crazy amounts of power in fights. An Executioner I like because you apply two auto attacks before you use an ability anyways. 
because of the feather step. When you use two auto attacks and then feather step, it gets uh, two times bonus damage. So you get two stacks of Executioner guaranteed pretty much anyways. I like stone cutting on her as well. I wonder if she's going to stay. Did she, did she see that I'm staying here? She might have. Let's see. I don't have my blink up though. But that's fine. I don't need it. Your middle tower is under attack. Come on. Come on, Freya. Come on. Do it. No, she's not going to come. Don't want to lose my tower though. Alright, we'll finish the item now. Now, if there's any other guys you guys really, really want to see, uh, I could play them as well, but I, I kind of want to stick to gods that I actually know. That way, I feel like you guys can learn something from. Oh, Hydra's is good on her. We don't... Hydra's, if you... If you're... What's the word for it? Oh, I don't... Can't afford it. I would say you can get Hydra's if you have room in your build. It's more of a luxury item. Because sometimes you need crazy amounts of hand die heal or crazy amounts of attack speed or lots of power, lots of defense. But right now we have everything we need, so Hydra's is just to increase our damage. I would not say it's core though. I, I don't get it most games. Definitely gives tons more damage, but it's not core. She didn't get beads. Also, against the Wilkes, you should always get beads. Got two out of techs there. She should vaulted. Let's see if she does. Mm, I'll be honest, I thought she was gonna die. I I kind of messed up the Suku leap because I didn't want to go fully out, but I didn't want to take that much damage from Titan. At least we didn't die, so it wasn't the worst thing in the world. It wasn't the worst thing in the world. Her build right now is actually good. The poly first item was bad, but now that it's all coming together now, this is like complete. The order of the build's not the best, I guess, but in terms of itemization, it's it's good. Hmm. I wonder if Bull Demon's up yet. I wonder if she thinks Bull Demon's up. I wonder which way she's gonna come. Okay, she's backing. I don't even know if I can hide here. That rock hides me pretty well. But I don't know if I can hide here, to be honest. Maybe I should try and hide here. Oh, she went this way. Surprise! <laughs> Ah, this might be bad for me. Just had to juke a little bit. Um, we'll just push because we can take Phoenix. Yeah, I haven't really been batting Freya if I have a, if I'm playing a high burst god because I feel like I can deal with her better than she can deal with me. But that might also be just because I'm not at a crazy high level right now. I'm Diamond Four. Get the Hydra's proc. But I've been beating Freya's more than I've beaten, you know, Vulcans. So that's why I bat Vulcan. Everyone, everyone gives me a hard time about my Vulcan bans. But, hey, if I lose to Vulcan most of the time, I'm going to ban him. Whereas if I beat Freya most of the time, I'm not going to ban her. I lose to Poseidon way more than I lose to Freya. It's, I think it's just because I, I play weird types of gods, though. Like, let's say I was playing AMC. AMC would probably lose to Freya more than Wilkes. Is, maybe? I don't know. It's because I play weird gods. Your middle tower is under Oof. attack. Your middle tower has been destroyed. Ah! Oh, I thought that was gonna knock her up and then I could pull her into uh, Phoenix. I goofed. Grab that 
That's fine. All it does is waste my blink. Like, it's not like I had to ult two. I was thinking maybe I could throw my three, knock her up, but then blink and pull her into Phoenix. That would have been so cool. I always go for the cool plays, even if it's unlikely to happen. Because I think it's fun. For the few times it doesn't happen, it's definitely worth it for when it does. I really thought that was going to hit. Hmm. Oh, copper's on my desk. Copper likes to lay in front of my mic and mouse and then move it while I'm playing. If anyone doesn't know, Copper's my cat. He's been in past videos before. Probably just rushes down a little bit. Not entirely. Well, oh, that was really, really bad. Because now I'm going to lose all my health. Yeah, that was really, really bad. Okay. How did she miss so many auto attacks? My lord. Might be able to bait us here with... Uh... Nope. I was thinking with the fire minions. But Freya's auto attacks go through minions. So can't really juke behind them. I should have kept going. Was my one up? No. No, it was down. It was down. Do also, let's, let's get this. That's a little items. bit of healing. I know it's late to get a child's, but like... Why not? And now we save up for a 3k pot. I guess I can upgrade this too. I do dangerous blinks. It's worth. Um, We still got this game in the bag. If she gets a breastplate of valor, I'm in trouble. Like, if she gets double defense in any shape or form, I'm in trouble. I wouldn't say it's game over. Yeah, she's already level 20. She's level 20 Freya. This is not good for me. I need to I need to play this better. I had a huge snowball and I let her get to late game because I was just just uh not trying. I mean, yes, I'm trying, but <laughs> lack of better word. Not trying my hardest, I guess. How much damage I have! I have so much damage. All right, that's game. That's gotta be game. And I, I have three fire archers. Yeah, that's game. Good game. It was looking a little bit scary at the end, just because she was late game Freya with a pretty good build. Okay, she went telekines instead. But. There you have it. GG. I really hope you all learned something from this Wilkes gameplay. And I just, you know, tell me what other gods want me want to see me play. I'll play any god, except there's certain gods that I know well and can actually teach. There's other gods that you guys will probably just see me struggle with. But good game all around. And uh, I'll post the giveaway information in the top comment. Uh, anyways, have a good day, everybody. Hope you had a fantastic Thanksgiving break, if you celebrate that.